her. We're Will and Jen, high school sweethearts who love to travel and live a more intentional life. Last week, we spent a long weekend in Southern Virginia for Will's sister's graduation and stopped by Natural Bridge State Park. This week, we're heading to Michigan with our friend Matt, exploring a German town, and trying our hand at axe throwing for the first time. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alright guys, we are back in the car and we are starting the long trip. I think it's going to be about 10 hours total, probably with stops, but we are heading to Michigan and we got someone with us for the trip. Hi everyone, welcome back. <laughs> so we are heading to Michigan for the whole week. We're going to be up in like Wixom, Michigan, because um, that's where the General RV headquarters are. And so we're heading up there. I know you guys are going to record videos this week, right? Yes. Yes. And um, just some meetings Exciting and stuff. Videos. Yeah. Cougars like what we have. Oh, Cougars, nice. Jayco's, Jayco's, Winnebago Tobles, a lot of good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're gonna hang out with Becky, Becky B, and go to this axe bar. It's a bar where you drink and play with axes. Ooh, I mean, I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, they have one in Michigan. But that's the plan. We're on the road now. We're gonna get like four hours of driving in tonight, hopefully. And, and why are we driving? We are driving because somebody was not willing to fly and just just for the record i did fly here from florida to make sure will and jen were not by themselves on the drive we told them not to worry no, about we were it. totally fine <laughs> actually no i am gonna fly straight home from michigan wow you would do us like that yeah but yeah this this 10 hour drive could have been an hour and a half flight but well you know i mean a half hour waiting for the plane to arrive and everything Right. Gotta, you know, once you factor all that in, it's a wash. Maybe 15 minutes in the bag terminal, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Where are we eating dinner, guys? <laughs> Royal Farms. Royal, we're eating dinner at a gas station. For those I'm of you, telling you. Hang on. For those of you guys who don't know, Royal Farms is a gas station in Maryland. And what do they have, Jen? They're not known for their gas. <laughs> best fried chicken. I swear I think this is the best fried chicken I've ever had. It is. Excellent. Maryland fried chicken. Maryland fried. I didn't I never knew Maryland was like famous for chicken. But also the biscuits are very, very good. And I have high standards for biscuits because I don't like them when they're dry. But I don't like them when they're like greasy either. You know? These are too perfect. buttery. Honestly, that's the thing. Same thing with the chicken. It's not too it's like crispy enough, but not too crispy. Popeyes, I think, is too crispy. Sorry if you like Popeyes. I think it's too crispy. KFC is too greasy. Royal Farms is like right in the middle. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's doing his taxes. I'm about to be editing and Will is driving. All right guys, we made it to Michigan last night and um, we got in just grabbed some dinner and everything. And today we are actually heading to this little German town in Michigan called Frankenmuth's. Right. So we're gonna go take a look. It's like, it, it looks all German themed and like little shops and restaurants. So it's about an hour drive. We're about to go head up and check that out. All right, we made it to Frankenmuth's and the first stop we're gonna make is just to grab some lunch because we did skip breakfast for this. And we're going to a place called Frankenmuth Brewery. And so Matt went in and got a table, so we're gonna go check it out now. Welcome to Frankenmuth. <laughs> I 
don't know what's more German than beer and pretzels. Das. Got a, this is a Bavarian pretzel. Matt doesn't think it looks good. He doesn't understand. He it's different than the soft pretzel you get at the baseball game. He's not called. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Das Pretzel. <laughs> Are you ready? There we go. Oh. I can't go anywhere without getting something for my baby. So I got this camel for Tucker because he loves tennis balls and there's a tennis ball inside. So once he breaks this toy open, which he will eventually, I'll have another toy to play with. Gross. But I did get one of these beef sticks for all three of them so they can all have a treat when we get home. So Frankenmuth is one of the most popular attractions in Michigan today and actually the whole reason it came about is because back hundreds of years ago a lot of Germans came from Fra Franconia, Germany and settled here and so they've created this whole town to commemorate German culture so there's tons of little shops and restaurants to connect back to that German history. Oktoberfest here every year, which is no surprise. But one cool fact is that this is the largest Oktoberfest other than the one in Munich, Germany, that is actually sanctioned by Germany or something like that. So this is like the largest legit Oktoberfest in the US, I would I assume. So we might have to come back here one time for October. I've never been to an Oktoberfest. But fun fact, Oktoberfest October is actually in September. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, really? just because of the weather. Oh, okay. So the engine just lowered over there and the propeller stopped. So I think that means we're about to turn around and head back up the river. about this covered bridge. Apparently that bridge was built, the bridge itself was built on land, and then they had ox pull it over. Wow, I didn't hear him say that. They had the pillars in the water, oh, wow. and they placed the bridge on top of it because apparently in the olden days, it was easier for them to build a bridge on land and move it over the water than it was to build on the water. Crazy. Yeah, and these bridges, you, we didn't make a video of it when we went to Vermont last fall, but we're hoping to go to like Vermont and New England again in the fall. But these kind of, this looks just like the cover bridge in Vermont and they're like all over New England. So. Wow. Yeah. But tonight we are actually going to do ax throwing, which is something that I've kind of always wanted to do. Uh, one of those places where you like throw axes like they're darts and right. aim but we haven't done it. No, no, you haven't done it yet, Matt, have you? Why are you looking creepy? You've done it before, haven't you, Matt? No, I haven't. Oh, I thought you did. <clears throat> so we're going to do that, and hopefully nobody gets injured. doing a bracket style tournament and so there's six of us and so two play at a time and then it just keeps going down. So Will is about up to play Matt. And that's Becky. That's Becky. Part of our team. Yep. That's Becky's husband. Yep. That's Big Mike versus Big Will. 
Right. Big Mike versus Big Will. <laughs> and then this one up. Oh! 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 bullseye. No, it's hot here. And that lady, I don't understand where it's the same. It's hard to understand. I just want to throw the axe. <laughs> Yeah. Final throw. Finish her. <laughs> Jen, you need to score. Jen, you just need you need the red or the black. No pressure. No pressure. No, that's a tie. It's now time for a tiebreaker. <laughs> oh man. It's all about who hits the board, not about sticking it. Listen, listen, I'm not even gonna lie. This seems dangerous. Right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, good luck, Melissa. Can we do the tiebreaker with the smaller axe? <laughs> right? Like, I was so ready, but it was just so heavy. It's just. Now, what do we do? There you go. It's so heavy, just right. Okay. You're not trying to break the, piece, the wood pieces apart. Nice! That was really fun and none of us got hurt. Right. So of all three of us, I would say Will was the best. Uh -huh. I was the worst. At least you're not the worst man. I'm like the middle. So we are now actually heading out and we're about to make the two hour drive up to Grand Rapids, Michigan tonight. But we have to go up there because you guys have to film something there. Yeah, so tomorrow uh, morning we're having lunch with my cousin. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> and then we're going to be filming in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And then we have dinner, a fancy dinner, with the owners of Alliance RV. Yeah, that should be fun. So what we're doing is driving two hours tonight up there. That way we can check into the hotel room tonight because I have to work tomorrow. So instead of like trying to drive in the morning. And we know we're not waking up at 7 a.m. Yeah. So it just makes sense to go there tonight, even though it's a little later. But it's only two hours, so it's not too bad. And what's nice is it's what, 8.30 right now? There's still light out. Yeah, it's still yeah. really light out. I love that.